Hello there, people of the internet. So I am here with this super old first aid kit. Clearly this thing has uh, seen some difficult times. And I was gonna dig into it and I figured to myself, hey, since I'm doing this just for fun, you know, I'm the kind of person who likes this kind of stuff. Maybe there's some people out there who like this kind of stuff as well. So I figured I'd go ahead and record <laughs> me just digging through this first aid kit and uh, Hopefully we can find ourselves a date on it, see what time this first aid kit, you know, actually existed and, and was... See, see what time this first aid kit came to be. Uh, so, lots of dust on it. Probably enough dust to start growing a plant. Uh, our labeling is very adamantly falling apart on both sides. However, the rear side is uh, uh, in much better shape. I also noticed a barcode, so it can't be too terribly old. Now, whenever I tried opening this thing, the front little uh, tabs, they didn't bend. They just snapped off immediately. So that tells us that this thing right here is probably uh, pretty old. But let's go ahead, open her up. Oh boy, that smells fantastic. <laughs> it smells like, it smells like uh, nail polish remover licorice and wet dog <laughs> that's exactly what that smells like all right so right off the pad or right 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 off right off the back not pad uh abd absorbent pad i don't really know what this is but it is in there so i'm not sure how absorbent it still is it's very i would not <laughs> i would not trust this to be sterile it looks like it's seen some hard days i also think i see rust on it that's not a good sign. Let's see what else we have in here. iPad, oval. This this was the iPad before the iPad became a thing. I see some antibiotic ointment in here. Uh, this stuff doesn't really go bad even after it is expired. And the expiration date on this is 2006. So we have ourselves a general date area. Oh. Oh, <laughs> remember what I said about how this stuff doesn't really expire? Well, this stuff is not the color that it should be, so I'm willing to bet that's probably no good. Uh, sterile gauze pad, I don't know how much I trust that. Yeah, that's just falling apart while I'm holding it. This was discovered in my garage, so I have no idea uh, the conditions that it has been in. Here we have another one. This one's in better shape than the other one was. Uh, we have a giant band-aid. If you need a giant band-aid, we have you covered. We have some giant Q-tips. If you need some giant Q-tips, we have you covered. We have <laughs> two, not one, but two uh, tweezers. So I don't know why you would need two tweezers, but in the event that you need two tweezers, we have you covered. We have rubber gloves. That's always nice. These right here don't really expire. Uh, not unless they are out in the open and, you know, dry rot or whatever. Uh, more rubber gloves. We have... Oh. Oh, God. Okay, we have a instant cold compress, and I am willing to bet my left kidney that this thing is no longer good. It is just absolutely falling apart over here. As a matter of fact, this is probably going to be thrown away. Ah, bobby pin, rusted to hell. Well, that certainly explains where our rust came from. We have, we have, this looks like gauze, but it feels like bubble wrap. So we have some of that. That's fantastic. Have a whole stack of Extra strength non-aspirin. I would not, oh God, I could see right through these bags. The aspirin has changed color. I would not recommend eating this aspirin. And there's rust all over it too. Boy, oh boy, I would definitely not recommend eating any of these aspirin. We have some antibiotic ointments. This stuff feels all right. It feels like ointment still. I'm not sure what color it is, but I'm also not seeing, oh, hold on. Okay, expires 2005, so a little bit expired, but it might do something. Uh, decongestant tablets, that might be good for you. Also expires 2005. Sterile iPad, another one of these. I don't know why we need so many sterile iPads, but we have them. 
Uh, we have some, I'm assuming, gauze tape. And we have ugh, some more gauze tape. Wonderful. Some burn aid in case you burn yourself. This stuff doesn't expire until 2007. It might still be good in 2021. A uh, pair of scissors. This might be the only salvageable thing uh, in this entire kit. We have just debris falling all over the place here. Uh, sterile gauze dressing pads. I don't know how much I believe that this is still sterile. This looks like it has gotten wet and dried several times. Also sterile, not really. Abdominal pad, oh boy, I would love to just shove this over a gunshot wound. I mean, in reality, I'd rather have this than absolutely nothing. So, yeah, <laughs> that's there. And now we have a whole bunch, I think I mean a whole bunch of alcohol pads. These are alcohol and antiseptic pads. Fantastic. I am curious as to if they still have any moisture in them whatsoever. Let's open up one of these alcohol pads and see what it has to say. Tear here, I will tear right there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. There we go. And the alcohol pad is, <laughs> it's as dry as can be. <laughs> There's absolutely zero moisture in that whatsoever. Let's try out one of these antiseptic pads. Let's see if this has any sort of moisture in it. This is a two pack right here, so that tells me that this was used at one point or another. This right here, I can already feel that there is moisture in there. I can already feel without even opening up the package, but let's get in there. Why not? Oh, yep, yeah, there's lots of liquid in that. <laughs> there's disturbing amounts of liquid in this. Yep, that's, oh wow, that, that does not smell good. <laughs> I know that antiseptic is not supposed to smell good to begin with, but at least these right here have moisture. So I'm willing to bet that these right here are still usable. That's good, that's very good to know. I'm not sure how effective the antiseptic will be, but at least we have it. More alcohol pads. Some of them feel like they might still be all right, but then some of them do not. And then more antiseptic cleansing pads. The antiseptic cleansing pads feel like they'll be okay. And then we have some, <laughs> some of those open wide sticks that you stick in your mouth, but they're covered in bug giblets. So I would recommend washing those before sticking them into your mouth. Okay, we have a few more alcohol cleansing pads. These look like they're in different containers. They look like they're in aluminum as opposed to the paper that the other ones are in. And they feel, these ones feel like they're still gonna be good. So those are probably sealed a little bit better. I wanna see, I wanna see one of these non-aspirin. Let me find one that's in really bad shape here. I wanna see one of these non-aspirin. I wanna see what the condition of it is on the inside. Oh wow, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would not recommend eating these. Uh, I don't know what color these are supposed to be, but I'm assuming that they're supposed to be white. That's, that's, that's not something I would trust putting into my body. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna scrape away the top surface and see what the underneath looks like. Yep, <laughs> yep, it's definitely supposed to be white. Okay, so I would not recommend <laughs> the aspirin at all, not unless you are in really dire situations. We have a Band-Aid, regular Band-Aid. Uh, an H Band-Aid, kind of looks like the nose ring to a Mauser, that's pretty cool. We have another safety pin that's kind of stuck onto this stuff. We have more safety pins in here. Another round of Band-Aids. Uh, I bet that the Band-Aids will probably be good enough to do their job. Got more Band-Aids here, looks like a strip of five. First aid only, you got it buddy. Got more Band-Aids, plenty of Band-Aids. This one right here just kind of opened up and fell apart. So this is what the Band-Aid on the inside looks like. Very large, strange, unique looking Band-Aid. I bet this right here is for some pretty significant wounds. But I'm willing to bet that this right here would still work well enough. Okay, more Band-Aids. Uh, we got some I think that these are those gauze things that you use to hold gauze together. 
or they might be those uh, wound closures, the, the 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 wound closing things that they're almost like uh, uh, temporary stitches that you don't have to you know stab into your body. And what do we have here? I'm not sure what this is. Ah, okay. Little square band-aids. Man, we got all sorts of band-aids in this thing. Little tiny band-aids. And what do we have right here? We have more H-bar band-aids. Less H-bar, more like hourglass band-aids. Okay, well, this is... This is what I have gathered out of this uh, first aid kit. I gotta say, I was expecting it to be in worse shape, but I knew it was not going to be in very good shape. There's a lot of stuff in here that I would not recommend <laughs> trying, but there's a lot of stuff in here that you probably still could use. I mean, 2006, 2005, that is whenever the stuff expired, so a lot of it is not going to hold the same properties that it used to. This antiseptic here, I'm sure, is a excellent, excellent... Uh, Example of that like and like anyone who knows what color this is supposed to be. That's that's not the color This is supposed to be let's get into some deeper antiseptic here and see if it changes back. Oh, look at that We're starting to get back into the realm of the color. It's supposed to be it's supposed to look like that So we might actually have some antiseptic here. That is worth something Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and lay all this out, take a photo of it, and get rid of the stuff that I deem is not worth keeping. And then I'll keep the stuff that, you know, might come in handy down the road. I have other first aid kits. This right here might just be something that I keep to the side just to have. Anyway, folks, uh, I had fun with this. I definitely had fun opening this up and checking it out. Uh, if you had fun as well, <laughs> let me know down below. This is kind of an experiment seeing uh, what people enjoy. And I enjoy doing these kind of things. So I figure the people who watch the stuff that I do would also enjoy these kind of things. That being said, thanks for watching. Go off. Have a fantastic day.